Hi, shall we meet in the office, online or hybrid? Many managers or team leads ask themselves this question now before deciding where is the best place to meet. And as we now start to returning in the office and the COVID and the lockdowns relaxed a little bit in many countries, including Germany where I live, it is key to decide where it would be most productive, where it makes most sense to meet. So let me give you a couple of criteria and recommendations where is best to meet. So your team can have, or yourself, uh, could have either highest individual productivity or enjoy team discussion, creativity, and fun. So the criteria are based on two factors. First one is if you work on your own, whatever task you have to do, or you have to work with others. And the second criteria is if what you have to do is more factual, facts, numbers, concepts, if it's more emotional, or it's in the middle, partly factual, partly emotional. So let's go through this four criteria. Now, if you have to work on your own and you have like conceptual work to do, analytical work to do, for example, writing a concept, writing text, marketing text, working on a sensitive data, it is best, this is highly factual work, it is best to work in a quiet environment. So at home is very good if you have a you know, quiet space or you could go to the co-working um, space or whatever you like. If your work is more administrative, like answering emails, writing uh, updates, you know, organizing meetings, again, on your own, which is highly factual work, best, again, work from home or wherever you could have a quiet environment. Now, if it's partly factual, partly uh, emotional, like, um, for example, um, you have to work with others, so we go already in the other category, like you have... Um, Alignment meetings, exchange with the team, update meetings, which is you know partly factual, partly emotional. Here you could either use a, a meeting conference room with you know virtual facility, video facility. So part of the team we're already in the hybrid space. So part of the team are um, working um, in the office. The other side are online, but they could join through a in a meeting facility where you have uh, the proper video, the proper audio. Or if it's more creative work, you know, you have to come up with brainstorming, you have to come up with, you know, new strategy update, new product update. And I know many managers shy away from, you know, doing brainstorming and creative work online. It is possible, you know, the tools like Miro, concept board and so on, even the Zoom uh, whiteboards come up with the functionality so people can in parallel provide input then very quickly they could stamp it and you could see which topics get the strongest resonance. So in fact, it could work faster online or hybrid. So in this case, which is partly factual, partly emotional, you could either use, you know, in a hybrid space, uh, a meeting room in your office with good collaboration facilities, and then the other people join uh, online or hybrid, or if it's more like, you need inspirational environment. It's highly creative, you know, the new product roadmap, the new product development. If you have in the office, you know, in your lounges and so on, creative environment, you could do it there. You could collect the people there if, you know, um, it, it is possible logistically, or you could hire a place with a creative facilities environment that will actually inspire your team to do it. Now, working with others, let's see three categories which are highly emotional. And there, my recommendation is to be in the office. Only if you can get together in the office, you could still go hybrid. If it's like confidential work, feedback session, performance appraisal, try to do it face-to-face -face in a environment in the office. If it is like informal exchange, it's not about the progress update and the milestone tick, but informal uh, update, uh, informal exchange. I recommend in the virtual power teams, the 10 big rocks to do a highly uh, to do the weekly highlights. So since we last met, what was your highlight? So those things, if possible, try to gather people in the office. I know now that, that many of you apply hybrid work policies at work and some say, you know, two days work in the office and try to say in one of the day to gather maximum people. So this is exactly the reason to have opportunities for when everybody is in the office to do confidential work, informal exchanges, as I said. And the third category is networking, team building. You know, when you have, for example, project kickoff, you need to start the new team, integrating new team members, try to do it in the office, providing again, provided you have a cozy and open environment, cozy and open space, so that would stimulate even further. So let me summarize, you know, if you do it on your own, 
and it is like factual work or partly factual, partly emotional, you can go for a hybrid model. Part of the team can stay wherever they like, uh, you know, work from home. The other part could be in the office. But if it's like highly emotional, like confidential work, informal exchanges in order to, you know, continue building the trust and strengthening the relationship or networking, team building, try to do it in the office or in the places where you can gather the people physically and it, uh, you know, rises creativity. So hope this help. I wish you good luck on your leadership journey and building powerful virtual or hybrid teams. And um, if you have a question, let me know. Virtual power hack for me. And I see you soon.